In the wake of the horrific Tucson shootings, the state of Arizona has passed an emergency measure instituting funeral protection zones that will keep any protesters at least 300 feet away from funeral services. And of course, this was a response to the Westboro Baptist Church and the Reverend Fred Phelps, who are to Christianity what Jesus was to ignorance, hate, and inbreeding. You see, Westboro Baptist Church really hates gay people. A lot. They don't want to hate gay people, but God commands them to, so they're just following orders. It's kind of like Nuremberg, but with very bad teeth. And because America is a free society that doesn't stone gays to death in the streets, Phelps and his charming rapture junkie friends choose to show their devotion to the love of Christ by picketing the funerals of murdered gay people and the fallen soldiers that defend a godless society that allows them to exist. Now, I feel bad for Westboro, and not just because their only successful protest ever continues to be their boycott of every single thing Christ ever taught, but homophobia is a dreadful burden to carry, and it's every bit as natural as being gay. But Reverend Phelps, let's assume you're right, that as you say, God hates fags. Well, where in the Bible does this come from? Because Jesus said nothing about being gay. St. Paul and Deuteronomy are really only talking about gay prostitution. And Sodom and Gomorrah is actually a story about public gang rape of angels in the streets. It is. Go read it. Fun stuff. So all you've really got to hang your hate on is Leviticus, which says, Ye shall not lie with a man as with a woman. That is an abomination. Shall not lie with, it says. Nothing about standing up or one guy on his knees or one guy leaning against the men's room stall while a Republican senator plays lookout. But you fine, Rev. Let's assume Leviticus is the direct, undiluted word of God. And if you believe that, then you've got to follow everything Leviticus preaches, including you've got to stone gay people to death, okay? No more of this limp-wristed picketing at funerals. However, also according to Leviticus, you have to stone to death people who work on the Sabbath. And that's Saturday, so bye-bye NASCAR. You also have to stone to death children who are gluttons or drunks, so, so long Bush twins. Anyone who cuts their hair at the temples or tattoos the flesh, and I'm really going to miss the Marine Corps and half the bands I like. Uh, adultery gets the death penalty in Leviticus, and that also includes, technically, divorce and remarriage. So what this means, my funeral picketing friends. If you really believe the part of the Bible that says being gay is a sin, then you owe it to God to kill Rush Limbaugh three times. And while we're at it, Leviticus also says eating shellfish is an abomination. So Reverend, that shrimp cocktail you're shoving down your gullet is every bit as bad as George Michael night at the Ramrod bathhouse. You see, hating gay is natural, but so is being gay. And unlike being gay, hating gay is curable because homophobia, Reverend, is an insult to God. Oh, and by the way, Leviticus does forbid men with men, but the entire Bible says nothing prohibiting women with women. And I find it just a bit amusing that God and Vivid Video have the same exact policy. I'm John Fugelsang for Grit TV.